What's going on guys? Welcome to Let There Be Math again and in today's video we're going to see how we can apply the same formula we have been looking at so far which results in the natural log of the denominator of a rational function to the functions tangent of ax and cotangent of ax where a is just some arbitrary constant that we can choose. Now at first glance you'll notice what does a tangent and a cotangent function have to do with this rational function over here. And that's a very good question because we know for example that the tangent function is nothing more than the ratio of the sine and the cosine function. So we have sine of ax divided by cosine of ax dx. So this is exactly the same function as that. So now we have gone from a simple function like tangent to a rational function. But here's where the key comes in. Because if you now look at this in a very close manner, you will notice that the numerator sine of ax happens to be the derivative of the denominator cosine of ax. And in fact, if we carry out that differentiation here very simply, we have the derivative of cosine of ax. What's that going to be equal to? Well, we know that's going to be a negative sign. That's going to be minus a times sine of ax and if we look at our integral here we have sine of ax is already in the numerator the only thing we're missing is this factor of minus a so to fix that issue what we're going to do is we're going to write it down as follows so we have this is going to be the same as the integral of minus a sine ax divided by cosine of ax dx and now the last thing we want of course because we now have included this factor of minus a in the numerator is we need to also include it as a denominator outside of the integral to make sure that this is consistent with the previous integral and now all we need to do is apply this formula so now this is exactly in the form we want over here and that's going to result in minus 1 over a times the natural log of the function cosine of a x plus the constant c. So somehow we managed to get from the function tangent of a x which, which we had no clue as to how to integrate and we have now obtained a result which happens to be a natural log of the cosine function which is a very interesting result in itself. Now, you might be wondering, what does the cotangent function have to do with this? Well, we know a cotangent function is going to be the inverse of the tangent function. And if we apply the same logic as before, we're going to replace that tangent function by a ratio of sine and cosine. That's going to be now sine is going to be in the denominator. And yes, let's not forget that factor of a and cosine is going to be in the numerator. Okay, so now what's the relationship between these two? Well, this one is going to be exactly the derivative of the denominator except for an extra factor of a. So what we're going to do is we're going to place uh, 1 over a at the front of the integral and then we're going to have an a in front of cosine ax divided by sine ax and this is going to give us exactly what we want so now we have an expression which is a rational function of the form outlined here and this is going to give us now 1 over a times the natural log of the function in the denominator which is sine of ax plus the constant c and there we have it. So we are now able to find integrals of the tangent and cotangent functions simply by following this general formula we derived a couple of videos ago. And now we can apply that to find more elegant solutions to complicated integrals. In the next video, we're going to continue with some more interesting examples involving these two trigonometric functions. And if you would like to see more content from Let There Be Math, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video.